grumpy faced fish. Yeah. <coughs> Does everything look, Nick? Looks good. Delta is uh, 20. Um, so down 80 degrees. This up. type, this fish is called a slickhead. I don't know what species, but it's in the family Elipocephalidae, and they're not very common. So that was a good observation. I'm just gonna follow them a bit. Um, are we gonna want to collect that sponge? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Kay. Okay, to zoom part. Uh, yeah, Michael Vickion also. So let's Concurs that it was up. a slick head. Uh, 15 meters or so. Copy that. Bridge, it is now. Yeah, Michael says he thinks, and so do I think. You know, but the there'll be uh, some let's pictures move that in the opposite position right now. To it's to gonna be so one five meters, bearing one eight zero zero decimal one knots. Back a bit, Nick. Yep, copy Just that. Good copy, sonar. Bridge. Sonar's looking good. Yeah. I'm directly above you. Okay. It's like it's got a pretty You're slick head. You're almost looking back at Sirius. Yeah, that's that seems like that would be a good and appropriate thing to say with that name. I have no idea whether that means anything, or even if that's why it's named that way, because it has no scales on the head, but. <laughs> Less uh, it's it's nice to see this because he's always wanted to know what they were like alive. <laughs> yeah. It just points out how, how rarely these are observed. Hold there. You can yeah, study them in jars. I wish we could see his eyes. He's not turning here. Yeah. <coughs> Ken Sulek's got to be happy with that shot. You can see the details on the scales on that. That video. All right, I'll let him go. Hopefully, we can find that sponge again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really a unique yeah, sponge. Out, I, I don't you. know what that sponge was. All right, it's a rather 